If Neat was alive, this never would have happened. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. Oh my goodness. Wrong kid died. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Yay! What's up, y'all? Gang, gang. Everybody. Good ones. Loved ones. Hated ones. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's feeling good. Today we got Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Um, Y'all asked for it. So we're here. We ain't gonna waste no more time. Mr. Cox. Guys, I need Cox. Guys, I need Cox. I'm gonna have to break He goes on in two minutes something. and I can't find him. YouTube gonna be like, hey, this guy talking about he needs Cox. Demonetize him. You're gonna have to give him a moment, son. Dewey Cox needs to think about his entire life before he plays. Springberry, Alabama, 1946. Okay, what, this a small Cox? Come on, Dewey. Let's go play. Ain't nothing horrible gonna happen today. <laughs> I like these kids' optimism. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a great composer, professional baseball player. I'm gonna be an astronaut, and I'm gonna go to the moon. That's what's great about being young. There's so much time to do great things. Enjoy my lads, fellas. You grow up quick. It sucks. I miss being a kid and not having bills, y'all. No worry in the world. Those were the greatest times ever. I gotta pay bills and taxes. What's going on with life today? It's tough. There's nothing wrong with a little machete fighting. Oh, God! <laughs> Be careful with those machetes, guys. <laughs> oh! Oh, Dude, my God. I'm halved! Oh, we're supposed <laughs> to go. In case y'all don't make it, then you have to be double great for the both of us. That's a lot of pressure, Nate. You can handle it, Dewey. Get Paul! <laughs> Holy... <laughs> Nate! Rest in peace, Nate. Dude, he just chopped Nate in half. I was not able to reattach the top half of his body to the bottom half of his body. He's gone. Oh, no! It's all your fault, Dewey Cox. It's not his fault. He cut him in half with a machete. <laughs> Why do you have two machetes in children's Nate reach? Was you're not even half the boy that the top half of Nate was after you cut him in half. Think I'm less than a quarter of the boy Nate was. The wrong kid died. Dad, that's cold blooded. Can't smell anything. I think I lost my sense of smell. You gonna smell blind, son? You gonna smell blind, son? It'll pass, Dewey. Now you run on down to the country store and get us some butter and a candle. Not gonna be able to smell the candle. I'm a gambling man. I everywhere I go. Got a little blues. I've never heard no music like that before. It's so sad. That's why it's called the blues, boy. I think I like to play me some blues. Well, go ahead. What you got, Cox? <laughs> he might know some blues. He did just cut his brother in half. Now hit the strings with your other hand. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Mm, he strummed it real nice. <laughs> Dewey, what the? I done a bad thing. Cut my brother in half. <laughs> <laughs> Say it for your first time. Say it, Dewey. You can do it, Dewey. You'll be double great. And Dewey said, I cut my brother in half. Talent Show 1953. Mama, you made it. There's my favorite 14-year-old son. 14? Dewey looked 30. Just so proud you learned to play the guitar so good without even having a sense of smell. It's all right now, Mama. I learned how to play by ear. You just go out there and sing your heart out. <laughs> smell the guitar. Will, Mama. <laughs> Dewey got to be the oldest looking 14-year-old I've ever seen. Please welcome Dewey Cox. Dewey, what you got? This is a little song I wrote called Take my hand. Wrong kid died, god damn it. <laughs> Dad still pissed. Take my hand, boy. Guys, wait, it just started. Are they dancing? This music is an outrage. Oh! oh. Devil's music. <laughs> Do old dude out there knocking people out. <laughs> Satan music. This is how they did Elvis. 
You think we don't know what you're talking about when you say, take my hand? You know who's got hands? The devil. And he uses them <laughs> for holding. I reckon it's time for Dewey Cox to move on. But you're only 14. All I need is my music. I've seen my path today, and I'm going to take it. And someday I'll make my masterpiece, and you'll all be proud of me. Can I come, Dewey? Of course you can, Edith. You're my girlfriend. How old is Edith? She looks about 26. I'm Dewey's 12-year-old girlfriend! 12? You're the most talented man I've ever seen in my whole life. Get out of this house or I cut your dreams in half like you cut mine in half. Wait till you see what happens now. <laughs> Dad is cold-blooded. But 12 and 14, they aging horribly in this movie. <laughs> we all come to children, mama and papa Dude, children, they out there. mama and papa Whoa! Children. This is dancing right here. This is how it's supposed to be done. My name is Bobby Shad, and these are the bad men. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Shad, wow, that was really great. I'll play a little guitar. Hey, you to mop the floor, not bother the band. The customers come here to dance erotically, and they need a clean floor to do it on. It's to dance erotically. <laughs> Definitely are dancing erotically. They screwing each other, giving each other head on the dance floor. Where's this club located? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> You stop talking about that music? But it's my dream, baby. But Daddy said that if we move back home, he could give you a permanent job. Well, I think I'm doing okay for a 15-year-old with a wife and a baby. 15 with a wife and a... I do believe in you. I just know you're gonna fail. I'm gonna make this dream come true. It's a rocky road, but I plan on walking. I will walk hard. The Dewey Cox story. If Bobby Shad can't play, I need to find someone who can. I'm fine. I can play through the pain. I play a little. I don't know how to tell you this, boy. Your white crowd will eat you alive. I've been watching Mr. Shad every night. It'll be the same show. It'll be just like Bobby Shad and the Bad Man, only be me tonight. Worth a shot. This crazy. got no other choice. <laughs> Get a white boy a chance. Black people are like him. Suits from the record company just got here. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> He gonna get signed. This first song we're fitting to do is, uh, it's about, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, they looking at him like... It's about when your woman catches you. She catches you running around town, getting into all kind of strength. She says, son, get your lazy two-timer Negro ass up out of here. Hey! You say to her... Do it! You got the love, the Negro man. Do it! Watch it! Switch one word. You got the love of the Negro man. From early in the morning to late at night. You got the love. Here. He allowed to sing that? I think you've got what it takes to make it in the big time. The big time? He sang one time about loving a Negro man and got a deal from the Jewish man. Pizza pie, what's in a pizza pie? Tails will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling. Stop, stop your singing this instant, young man. If you just let me play one of my songs that I wrote, I think you'll like it a whole lot better. I was willing to open my mind because these Jewish gentlemen brought you in here. They usually have good taste. Uh, there's nothing I would like more, sir, than to restore your faith in Judaism right now. If you could just give me that shot. But I'll tell you. <laughs> restore his faith in Judaism. Hey, for here already, what could it possibly hide? Well, I am, I'll do it for you, but just one more song. Dewey, come on, bro. Come on, bro. We don't know this song. You just follow me. <laughs> Walk hard, hard. He liked that. Walk bold. Than ridicule too. How did he know the words back there? I thought he ain't know it. Seem a share of the words that the world can give. <laughs> But I still got a dream and Here's America's new hit song, You're Walk Hard, done. recorded just 35 minutes ago. <laughs> he on the wave in 35 minutes. Record time. He got groupies already? Within an hour? Was gonna lose and never gonna win. He walked so hard. Dying he got my cousin with him. That's where my cousin's been at. Cousin, you were doing. I sang a song at a circus in New Jersey. They said, "Well, we'll give you five grand." I said, "No, no, you won't. You'll give me that giraffe." <laughs> that is one beautiful giraffe. Yeah, you weak, Satan. Busting kids out now, Dewey. Slow down. Aren't you happy? You have a beautiful new home, all your fancy new clothes, and your monkey and your giraffe. This ain't about no exotic <laughs> pets. It's about love, Dewey. <laughs> Artists don't have time for love. They gotta go, you know supply the world with their talents. 
so we can love them. The world needs to love them. Screw the person at home. How are we supposed to follow that? Don't worry, Dewey. You'll do great. If you don't, I'll pick it right back up. You got nothing to worry about. Oh, Malcolm in the middle? We're going to change the order after the big body, Holly, then Elvis Presley, and then you, Dewey Cox. You got to follow up Elvis Presley? Dang, Elvis Presley, you didn't have to rile him up like that. <laughs> what now? Well, two things you need to know. Uh -huh. I'm the king. And number two is, look out, man. Look at that. You're coming at you. Two kinds of people know. Chinese and the king. <laughs> One of them is me. You're the king. Well, I'll come on, man. I'll come on. It's some long game. Or something. Elvis well, is thanks, drunk. Elvis. <laughs> what the f*** was he talking about? <laughs> I'd like to play a song I wrote for a very special lady. This is Dewey Cox. I have a pearl cry. Yeah, if I wasn't a married man with a good head on my shoulders, I don't know what I'd do. Gotta get back out there, Dewey. They're going crazy. <laughs> Get out of here, Dewey. We're smoking reefer, and you don't want no part of this. I do. You're smoking reefer? I do. Get out of here. You know what? I don't want no hangover. I can't get no hangover. It doesn't give you a hangover. I don't want to overdose on it. You can't you not... OD on it. Yeah, you can't OD. It's not going to make me want to have sex, is it? It makes sex even better. True. Sounds kind of expensive. It's the cheapest drug there is. <laughs> You don't want it. You don't kind of want it. Dewey, stay away. Okay, but just this once. Come on in. Uh, he took, is he over the dub? I'm just about to change his world. High off that butt. Uh oh. Yeah, the boys have been playing great. Dewey. The audience. He's giving amazing. out the cops. Oh. Dad. It's about your mama. What about her? Is she okay? <laughs> <Dad>. <laughs> Dad, like, what the hell going on in there? Your son is talented. You should be proud. Well, I must admit, it is kind of catchy. Dice with me, Paul. Maybe I have been kind of hard on little Dewey. Uh, you you think? Oh. You, ah! you all right, Ma? I'm all right. <laughs> I thought you should know what your music does. It kills <laughs> people. You made her happy. If Nate was alive, this never would have happened. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. Oh my goodness. Wrong kid died. <laughs> that is an asshole. It's called cocaine. Dude. And you don't want no part of it. It turns all your bad feelings into good feelings. True. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I'd like to try me some of that cocaine. Do we know? Mr. Cox, I heard you were looking for a new backup singer. Oh. For your new duet. I reckon I might. Dewey, don't forget you got a wife, brother. Hello, darling. In my dreams, you're blowing me. Some kisses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do. That's sacred. Crap. Dewey. I am not that kind of woman. I can't. We're friends. Lady. Let's do it and do together. Ah, oh, they're gonna end up screwing hard. They're gonna f hard. Here I am, a sneak. It's coming my back door. You come in your back door, huh? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Then you look like you've seen a ghost. Worse, you've seen a machete. I got a lot of pain in me, darling. Darling. Darling, I'm on the run with you. Eva's not gonna like this song. And I'll be one with you one day. We both know that the sexual tension between us is palpable. Don't you know that I wrestle with the same temptations you do? Sometimes I lie awake at night aching for a man's touch. And by man's touch, I mean penis in my vagina. Oh, it's just so silly. Yeah, that's not silly. Let's promise to never ever give in to our lesser desire. After all, we're not married. <laughs> Dewey. I'm ready for sex. He got married? He got two wives now. Dewey, I like you, but man, you ain't be doing Edith like that, bro. She got all your kids at home. Wear a condom, Dewey. Whoops a daisy. Jeez, oh. Dewey, no more kids. Surprise! Edith! Edith! Edith. I'm the mother of your children. It's not what it looks like. We're married. Oh, I did the right thing. It's not like we're not married. You're already married. You can't get married again. You told me about that dream where you were licking my balls, and that seemed like a signal. <laughs> I forgot. I'm leaving you, and I will see you in court. I'm leaving, too. You've got the order of things all backward. Dang. He was living his life. Two wives. Don't you stand there and judge me. Like I'm some kind of criminal. It's illegal to be married to two people at the same time, Dewey. What about if you're famous? Is that 
<laughs> yeah, famous people get a different you set of rules. Done, shouldn't have done to me. Like that time you woke up in the middle of the night and drank up all the milk. I got up, had my cornflakes, there's none left. So I'm a cheater, but you can just drink up all the milk and that's fine. Okay, get no it. Comparison. You're innocent and I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. Go away! Two wedding rings on. You know what? <laughs> all I need is my music. I don't need you. And I don't need you. Don't you dare take Miles. You can take the children, but you leave me my monkey. He named the monkey Miles <laughs> David. No, come back. Don't leave me either. There's a title for a song. That would be a good title. That's not a bad title. But yeah. Don't leave, <laughs> don't leave me either. I love you to death. I'm miserable without you either. Get out of here, dude. What y'all doing here? We doing pills, uppers and downers. They're the logical next step for you. I want some of that. No, dude, no. The pills are different. I don't give a damn what anyone thinks. I smoke and I drink. <laughs> I'm guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. I'm guilty as charged. You got a visitor. Hopefully it's vagina. Prison has changed me. I can bring joy to the men back in here, but I don't want to live with them. It will not the red enough, Mama Lotion. Does constant Leben steht look for me? I mean, as I can make it as a rehab. Rehab! I'm hot and cold at the same time! He needs more blankets and he needs less blankets. I'm afraid you're right. I'm afraid you're right. The wrong kid died. Do you mind if we get stoned in here? No, you get out. I'm the, you, you the reason I'm in here. I could never get you out of my head. I'm a new man, darling. Prison and rehab have changed me. All these blankets have saved my life. <laughs> I think you're finally ready to be the man I always thought you could be. Hey! <laughs> darling! Make sure she ain't gonna have no kids. <laughs> Do we got washboard apps? Really? I have to try to help people with my music. Some people are saying that your new music sounds a lot like Bob Dylan. Well, maybe Bob Dylan sounds a lot like me. How come nobody ever asked Bob Dylan why you sound so much like Dewey Cox? Inside the three-eyed monkey within inches of his toes. What do your parents think about your protest song? What do your parents think about my protest song? The elevator button so incredibly... Can we begin to understand our role? We're nothing but grains of sand. Jack! I think I might adjourn to another dimension and take some LSD. Care to join me? You've been living clean for three years now and it's done you a world of good, has it not? I've had my trouble with drugs in the past, but I'm addicted to coke, weed, booze, lewds, and speed, not LSD. If you promise it'll just be this one time, let's go drop acid with the Beatles. Let's do it! Let's trip balls! <laughs> he popping with Paul McCartney. Welcome to your LSD trip. Everything's a cartoon. I like being a trippy cartoon. What's that scary music? Oh, no. I had an unhappy thought. Bad trip, bad trip. I do have some demons. You all right, cock? I don't know. LSD, how you going, Craig? Eight months later. Oh, I hope he didn't get hooked. He's been on that trampoline for four days. I think the LSD has changed you. It's opened my mind right up. I've been recording the same song for eight months. You're not even close to being finished. That's because this record is different than any other record I've made. This one's for my brother. What brother? Never mind, it's private. They don't even know he got a brother or what happened to his brother. He just keep that part of his life locked away. Half the size that I used to be, pastures of plenty. Hear that? I think that goat's been singing more than I am on this damn song. <laughs> Dewey, what do we need all these people for? I don't need people around me stifled. So if you don't like it, there's the door. Dewey, 20 years, not once have you thrown a woman my way. You like cheating on our wives, too. And you never once paid for drugs. <laughs> not once. Not once. That's you slept he worried with my about. wife. Slept with me, too. And I've had confused feelings about that for 10 years now. And you never once paid for drugs. OK, we get it. <laughs> Damn, Dewey's strong. <laughs> LSD got steroids in it. It's about the drugs. I told you I'm gonna quit again. Just as soon as the record's done, whenever that might be. Look, you can't rush a masterpiece. I will take a break. Now I will quit the drugs. Dewey! I've been praying about this day for so long. What did you just put in your mouth? <gasps> Gum. He just LSD'd up. Dewey! What did you put in your mouth? BCP! Oh, you just said! Wow. What the hell is in PCP? This stuff is giving him extra strength. No mortal can stop me! I'm free! 
Damn it, the mortals got him locked up. Rehab, rehab. <laughs> Back to rehab he go. Nice. <laughs> this is what I'd look like if I'd grown up being an adult. Jonah. And perhaps ha hadn't been murdered or whatever. Need to get yours together. Since you're gone, I got no sense of smell. I can't even smell, touch. I can't even masturbate. You ever tried to jerk off with a ghost hand? That sound like it sucks. Need to start writing songs again. <laughs> it took a dead Nate to come down here and talk some sense in a Dewey. I had it all. I had it all. And then I up. God damn it. Look at the harp. These are expensive instruments. He just tearing know. up. What's going on with me? I got the song block. I just do my old ones. We'll do all these tour. I got a call from CBS. They want to do a show with you. To come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. We'll be right back with more Cox after this. That sounds crazy. Why don't we talk about your parents? They've got to be proud of you. Mom is dead. Pa and I don't uh, speak. We can always cut around this <laughs> if it gets too pathetic. <laughs> Tell us about your kids. I know you got. I'm locked in a custody battle at this time. Custody is trying to be forced upon me, which I don't think is right. So, but wherever my kids are, I'm sure they're watching the Dewey Show on Thursday nights at eight o'clock, right after the local news. He segwayed that in after that. Do you have time to stop and smell the roses? I've got no f***ing sense of smell. Yeah. All right, okay. come on now, folks. This chick ain't do no homework. To have. Yeah. Look at the damn question sheets, girl. <laughs> We're supposed to be double great for the both of us. All I'm asking is that you write one masterpiece. That is the culmination of your entire life. I'm empty, Nate. What do I do? Cox do is it. empty. Who's the one person in your life who's made you feel like shit? Paul. The wrong kid died. Paul made a song talking about the wrong kid died. The only person I've ever really wanted to love me was you, Paul. I just wanted to come here and tell you that I loved you. But there's only one way to settle this. <gasps> Machete what? fight. Ah, you've been practicing. Ah! Dad in there looking like Jason Voorhees. Ah! Ah! Woo! <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I have myself. No, Paul. Dad, you idiot. I never realized how easy it is to accidentally cut someone in half. I'm sorry for <laughs> blaming you, Dewey. How long can you live with a half-cut body? I wish I spent more time playing cat. You be a better father than I was. I'll try, Paul. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> in case I don't make it, I love... Paul! You love what? Come on, one more word! <laughs> <laughs> he knocked over the bottom half. <laughs> Dewey has expensive anger issues. Dewey, what's the point of bending all the spoons, man? Dad, I was just wondering if you want to have a catch. What is your name again? I'm Dewey Jr. <laughs> what? My... It's nice to formally meet you, Dewdrop. He's <laughs> just formally meeting his son. Man. Boy, you're really terrible at this game. You never really played with me before. How am I supposed to learn? Boy needs a dad. Got yes, you there. he does. Got you there. How many of you are there now? 22 brothers and sisters, and also 14 half brothers and half sisters. Ah, Lee. Cox been working. It'll take a while. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, he got a black kid. <laughs> he got an Asian kid. You know you're one of mine. Something always. I like this side of Cox. I like this Cox. He hanging with the family, you know, the kids happy. Yeah, this is what life is about right here. It's getting a little old, getting a little old. Hello, Darling. Dewey. It's Dewey's birthday. I brought her a present, it's a bracelet. Would you care to take a walk with me, Darlene Madison? Now, nah, this is what makes me happy. Not the music, not getting high. A good man. My family is missing one piece, Darlene. You don't want this dirty old cox. Oh, I want it more than ever. Did you wash your hair today? It smells terrific. I smelt it. <gasps> oh, crap. I just realized that. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. He could smell. I smelled it. I smelled you. It's a miracle! <laughs> I smell you flowers. I smell horse shit. It's horrible. <laughs> smell that shit, baby. I smell, smell that shit, baby. 
can smell coochie now, too. Oh, anyway. life is good. Well, Dewey Raheem, I'll tell you, I was young and stupid <laughs> then. Didn't understand a lot of things. But, you know, I got no complaints. And a beautiful ride. A beautiful ride? It's a song title right there. Dewey, sweetheart. The Jewish man. Mr. Cox. You're Mr. LeCombe's boy. I want to show you. I never rock a filler, but I rock a cinder. So what I gotta make you? Car. They, they remixed it. They sample walk hard. <laughs> How could you allow them to do such a thing with my husband's music? Through the roof be selling, Lil Nutzek. Anyway, he's introduced a whole new generation to the magic of Dewey Cox. Could even play together. Cox and Lil Nutzek, what a package. Cox and Lil Nutzek. Anyway, as if that was not enough, they're gonna give Dewey the Lifetime Achievement Award next month. Go on. I can't go on TV and play. I don't even know if I can rock no more. Of course you can rock, sweetheart. I'm afraid of the temptations, darling. You can do it, Dewey. Just go out there and sing your song. I'm gonna need my band. Oh man, how the band doing? <laughs> oh, he owes you that, Dewey. He brung drugs. <laughs> oh, he is so cute. I am returning to the hotel with my family. Good night to you. Good night, ladies. What are y'all doing in here? You don't want no part of this. <laughs> There go, Dewey. It's medication for erectile dysfunction. It gives you a boner. Not to be used if you have a pre-existing heart condition. Boners last for more than four hours? Call more lady. It gives you a boner. Hate to let you down, old friend. I don't want us to come to the temptation. My girl. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and then they show the temptations. Ooh. <laughs> the temptations. It is my great honor to introduce for the first time on stage in 25 years. I'm ready. Mr. Dewey Cox. Now that I have lived a lifetime's worth of days, fancy cars and needle, beautiful ride. Don't you let them fail. Oh. <laughs> Dewey, you. Dewey died three minutes after this performance. Jeez, Dewey. Dewey Randolph Cox. Wait a minute, is this based on a true story? Hold on. Gotta do some research, y'all. Is Dewey Cox based on a true story? I had to see if Walking Hard was uh, based on a true story. It's just a parody. It's fictional. That was a hell of a ride, you know? And then if you think about it, a lot of rock and rollers probably live like how, you know, Dewey was living. Girls on girls on girls, drugs on drugs on. Hey, when you think about it, rock stars are superheroes. How can they do all these drugs and wake up the next day ready to perform and they're just fine? They can mix Adderall, cocaine, bopane, propane, ether. Not, they can mix all of this stuff together, take it, wake up the next day, fine. <laughs> that got to be some type of superhero blood because I can't do that. That is crazy. His dad, man. What, his dad was a piece of crap. His dad was a piece of crap. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> he went out like he was supposed to. <laughs> he cut his own body in half. When you spend your life trying to kill your other son and cut his body in half, things happen to you. What the? Um, Dewey, man, I don't know what to say. This was a, a story based on somebody, you know, life. It's never too late to rectify mistakes, you know. He made a lot of mistakes. Not being there for those kids, that's a big mistake. They didn't ask to be here. They need their father. He's a little late. You're a little late, Dewey, but it's never too late. He did die five minutes after joining their life. No, I'm just playing. It's a joke, guys. Jeez. I'll be scared to joke now. Um. Yeah, it's, it's not too late. You got kids, you're not never there. Go be with them. The fast life is okay, but it comes to an end. Dewey was really living. He had everything. Guys that look like girls. Girls. Girls that look like guys. He had it all. What more can you ask for? Before I say anything to get me incriminated, I'm getting out of here. Until next time, guys. Love you. <laughs>